Mr. Andrews, you just don't understand. Oh, I don't. Well, Pop, what Laurie and I mean is, we made a real study of this situation you and... You have to think of the future, way ahead, when Nick and I are real old, like you and my father. How old is your father, Laurie? Forty-four. <laughs> This is Dr. Walter Bell, and I'd like to bring you another transcribed chapter in the story of Empire County. This series is presented to you by the New York State Department of Health and produced by the State Radio Bureau. Today's story, Lost Lake Found. The duties of a county health commissioner are not always very pleasant. About two years ago, it was late in the summer, I was forced to issue a directive that upset a great many citizens of Empire County. It wasn't long before the Chamber of Commerce and other civic organizations were hot on my trail. Even the youngsters registered their official protest, and I really couldn't blame them. Come on, Nick. The sun's getting pretty low. In a minute, Laurie. Let me skim just one more stone. Okay. Here goes. Good. Four. Now let's head back to town. I told Mother I'd be home for supper. Oh, there's plenty of time. It's only 16 miles. Mm, Yes, but there aren't many buses to Empire City. One an hour. For a junior in high school, you're sure helpless. What would you big, strong seniors do if it weren't for us poor little juniors? Wait a minute, Nick. Look. I thought you were in a hurry. Oh, look at that view. It's a beautiful lake, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. But that's all it is now. Only good for looking at or skimming rocks. Boy, that Dr. Bell and the health department sure fixed things. No swimming allowed. Nick, oh. What's the matter? Oh, those fish. I almost stepped on them. Well, wait over there while I cover them up. Not very pretty. Mm. Used to be some terrific trout and bass in Lost Lake. Not now. This is what's happened to most of them. Washed up dead on the shore. Even the fish can't take this polluted water. There, let's go. Gee, Lost Lake used to be such a wonderful vacation spot. But like Daddy says, I guess that's the penalty you have to pay when a community grows up. Sure, he'd say that. He owns the darned old chemical plant that made it grow up. Five years ago, things weren't like this. He doesn't own the plant. He only manages it. Well, what's the difference? It's the chemical waste from the factory that's ruining the lake. How do you know? Maybe it's because the sewer system isn't big enough for all the homes that have been built near the lake. And why were those homes built? For all the workers at your old man's factory. There are other factories. Well, sure, but that was the first one. And now with all this pollution, things sure ain't what they used to be. Why, we're one of the oldest families on Lost Lake. Pop even owns a couple of cottages out here. And do you think he's going to be able to rent them next summer? Heck, no. Well, the Andrews aren't the only people who've been affected. It so happens that I enjoyed my job as a counselor at the Girl Scout camp this summer, and I don't like the rumors I've heard about the camp being closed next season. Closed? Well, probably, since the pollution seems to be so serious now. Well, hey, what about the Boy Scout camp? You guessed it. Maybe there goes your job, too. Well, between Dr. Bell and your dear father, they've certainly done a finished job on Lost Lake. My father? Sure, him and his waste from his chemical plant. What about your father, the Honorable County Supervisor, Henry T. Andrews? He's been voting against a new sewage system in this area for as long as I can remember. Well, sure he has. It's too expensive. We don't need one anyway. What? Even though there are three times as many homes here as six years ago? Well, like I said, the only trouble is from the factory. Once we get... Nobody likes this mess. This... But what? Well, you're one of the shining lights of the Boy Scouts, aren't you? Well, I'm a member in good standing. Then act like one. Call a special meeting to discuss this problem. Make up a petition to have your father and the rest of the board of the supervisors take some action. I'll do the same thing with the Girl Scouts. Yeah, and then we'll go see Dr. Bell. Right. And that means there's a chance Lost Lake won't be lost after all.
Well, that's very interesting. In other words, Miss Greer, you both want to know why the mean old health department practically closed up Lost Lake. Well, we wouldn't exactly put it that way, sir. Oh, that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm very much on your side. So are practically all the citizens' groups in Empire City. Civic organizations like the Chamber of Commerce, the Sportsman's Club, and the Service Clubs have already been to see me about this problem. Well, I guess we're wasting our time then. No, not at all. It's good to see the younger folks showing this interest in civic affairs. So, as long as you're here, let's look over the whole situation carefully. Now, this map will give you a fairly complete picture. About uh, seven years ago, the entire area around Lost Lake contained no more than 5,000 people. But today, over 20,000 live in the same region. You mean because of the factories that have been put up since the war? That's right, Nick. Since the end of the Second World War, Empire County has attracted quite a bit of new industry. Two airplane parts factories, a textile mill, and of course, the biggest is the chemical plant, which Laura should know about. She sure should. Her father manages it, and it's the stuff that that plant throws into the lake. Nicholas Andrews, we came here to get information. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Laurie, I'm uh, I'm afraid that what Nick says is uh, part of the story. The water in Lost Lake has been affected by the untreated chemical waste from the plant. Killed off all the fish. Yes, and that's what brought the civic groups to see me. We called in the field unit from the State Water Pollution Control Board. They set up a mobile laboratory out there, and they found out that the chemical pollution was dangerously high for quite a large area near the plant. Well, then we ought to get the factory to fix up that chemical waste. To treat it? Yeah, that's right. And then that'll do it. Not quite. In fact, not by a long shot. You see, when all those people moved in near the lake, they created another big pollution problem. That's what I was telling you, Nick. The old sewage plant isn't big enough either. You've got it, Laurie. The pollution is so serious now that we had to prohibit bathing along over half the shoreline. See, Nick, and it's your father and his stodgy old board of supervisors who won't approve a new sewage plant. Yeah, but the chemical plant started all the now trouble. Now listen, Nick. Hold it. <laughs> You're both right. Nobody gains anything from the way things are out there now. We had to prohibit bathing on Lost Lake because it's our job to prevent disease. And even more serious is the possibility that the pollution will spread all the way to the other side of the lake. Remember, it's the people on the east side who have to drink that lake water. Luckily, Tarawago Reservoir is a supply for this side. Well, what's the answer, Doctor? The answer is for everyone concerned to obey the law, specifically Article 6 of the New York State Public Health Law, which prohibits the pollution of any waters of this state. But how do we do it? Just what you're doing now. A lot of grown-ups in their different organizations have come to see me already. And they're going to ask your father, Laurie, to see that his factory treats its chemical waste. What did I tell you? And, Nick, <laughs> they'll be out in force at the next public meeting of the Board of Supervisors to try and get them to approve the budget for a larger sewage plant to treat the human waste. How can we help? Really want to? Oh, of course. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Here's some information you might give to both your fathers. First of all, there's the danger to the health of everyone who works or lives near the Laurie, will you tell your friend Nicholas to please put down that pen knife? I'm willing to listen to your arguments without my life being threatened. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Greer. Oh, no, that's all right, Nick. Actually, I'm glad to see you kids take this kind of interest in the community. Laurie, for your information, all this has been brought to my attention by various civic groups from Empire City, especially after the number of fish killed by the chemical pollution became so great. So I called the Department of Health... You mean and... Dr. Bell? Laurie, shh. Oh. oh, now I see what you two have been up to. Yes, I also called Dr. Bell. He told me about the findings of the State Water Pollution Control Board field unit. So I immediately called the owner of our company, Mr. Talbot, and his answer, of course, was to go ahead and install the equipment that's needed to treat the waste from our plant. Oh, wonderful. Will it take long? Oh, a few months. And next year, Lost Lake's water won't have any chemical pollution. At least not from our plant. Well, Nick, that takes care of my father and the chemical pollution. Now, what about your father's opposition to a larger sewage plant? Let's see if he'll be as wise and understanding. Now, see here, you Laurie. You listen to me, Nick. You talk You 
kids certainly seem to have all the affirmative points lined up. But have you figured out one mighty big negative point? Oh, sure, Pop. We... A new sewage plant would cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $1 million. But, Mr. Andrews, you just don't understand. Oh, I don't. Well, Dad, what Laurie and I mean is we made a real study of this situation. You have to think and... of the future, way ahead, when Nick and I are real old, like you and my father. How old is your father, Laurie? Forty-four. Oh. Now, take it easy, Pop. Uh, remember, the increased property values will more than make up for the immediate cost to the taxpayers. That property value will go way down unless we get that new sewage plant. You have to think of the future, Mr. Andrews. Uh, so you told me, young lady. And I am thinking of it. But actually, I'm thinking of the present, too. I'm thinking of the phone call I got this morning from the Willoughbys. The people who rent the North Cottage every year? Uh, the people who used to, Nick. They told me not next year. And I've been thinking about your counseling job at the Boy Scout camp, as well as the health of everybody in this area. Oh, your father isn't just an old skin flint, you know. I've only been trying to do what a county supervisor should do. See to it that every taxpayer's dollar is spent sensibly. You mean you're going to vote for the new sewage treatment plant? Well, it's possible. Oh, oh gee, Dad, Andrew. that's well. It seems that when the people of Empire County are acquainted with a public health problem, and when the civic groups, yes, even the youngsters, work together with their Department of Public Health, that problem isn't going to remain a problem too long. Come on, Laura, you swim like a slow boat to China. Oh, help me out of the float. Here's my hand. Oh, my feet. There you are. Oh, I hate the thought of swimming back. We don't have to. Pop's picking us up in the boat. He and your old man have been out fishing since before dawn. I guess that since they had so much to do with cleaning up the pollution on the lake three years ago, they're both determined to enjoy Lost Lake's benefits to the hilt. In more ways than one. I understand that your dad's company is building a second factory here, and that he'll be in charge of both of them. And your father's put up three more cottages. Every one of them rented, I hear. Yep. The people have found Lost Lake all over again. Don't be so poetic. Poetic? Laura, you're all wet. I am not. <laughs> oh, uh, you oh. are now. Oh, Nick, no! <laughs> Laurie, you all right? Oh, I don't know. I must have swallowed half a Lost Lake. Oh, that's okay. Okay, why, you... Oh, sure, there's no danger. Pollution at Lost Lake is a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. 